Logan Paul has been one of the most popular content creators over the last 7 years, reaching over 23 million subscribers on his YouTube channel and over 4 million subscribers on his podcast. Logan Paul's social media journey certainly hasn't been without controversy though, getting into a ton of drama lately and he always seems to be the center of attention. Logan Paul is obviously brothers with popular YouTuber and now boxer Jake Paul and the two of them are extremely disliked by a large portion of the internet. In today's video, we are going over the rise and fall of Logan Paul for the second time, briefly discussing how he gained his original following, became the most hated man on on social media, eventually regained his popularity and trust from the public, but wanted to lose that trust just a few years later. Let's get straight into it. Before Logan Paul even started uploading content on YouTube, he was very popular on the mobile app called Vine that allowed users to upload 6 second videos of themselves. Unfortunately though, Vine shut down in October of 2016, forcing a lot of the creators to move and build a new following on a platform. Logan Paul decided to start making YouTube videos, and he posted his first ever video on September 12th, 2016, titled My First Vlog, The Road to Burning Man which currently has over 5 million views. Logan Paul was uploading a lot of 10 to 14 minute vlogs in 2016, and they were getting about 2 million views on average. His videos at this time were very cringeworthy, and he was a stereotypical daily vlogger back during that era of YouTube. Logan and Jake Paul were going viral because of how annoying they were, and a lot of people were watching his videos just to make fun of him. Even though these videos were hard to watch and clearly made for a younger audience, I gotta give credit to Logan Paul early on for daily vlogging as long as he did. It's really challenging to upload YouTube videos every day no matter the niche, but especially something as time consuming and draining as vlogging is. Logan Paul ended 2016 by uploading a video on December 20th titled Why 2016 Was the Best Year of My Life, which got over 10 million views. As the years went on, Logan Paul continued to get more and more popular alongside his brother Jake Paul, who was already blowing up the internet through YouTube vlogs. In 2017, Logan Paul's videos were averaging over 6 million views, and a lot of them were breaking 10 million views. Logan Paul also started making music around this time, posting songs titled Hero, which got over 70 million views, The Fall of Jake Paul, which got over 280 million views, and also Out of My Hair, which got over 75 million views. Logan Paul's songs are similar to most YouTube songs out there, meaning they are below average at best, but for some reason, music videos get a crazy amount of views no matter how good the song is. Everything was going great for Logan in 2017, but he would have his original downfall in 2018 when he uploaded a vlog of him filming someone committing suicide in Japan. This was major news when it came out on January 2nd, 2018, with many news networks covering the story, and the entire internet was against Logan Paul, and rightfully so. He was losing hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and most people wouldn't be able to have a successful career on social media after an event like that. Logan Paul uploaded one of the most iconic apology videos on YouTube shortly after the controversy, titled So Sorry, which got over 60 million views. Many people didn't feel Logan's apology was sincere though, and he was only apologizing as a way to save his image. Either way though, Logan Paul took a one month break from YouTube, vowing to be a better person from here on out, and become an advocate for suicide prevention. Despite all the hate that Logan Paul was getting, it didn't affect his YouTube viewership, and his videos were getting about 5 million views on average. Logan Paul uploaded a video on February 4th, 2018, titled Logan Paul is Back, which got over 18 million views. Many other YouTubers probably would have quit uploading if they were getting so much hate, but Logan Paul didn't let that stop him from trying to rebuild his image. One of the people that really helped Logan Paul get back on track was KSI, a YouTuber who currently has over 24 million subscribers and is a member of the Sidemen. 2018 was also the year that YouTube boxing really took off, and KSI vs Joe Weller was the first major YouTube boxing fight in a real venue. After KSI ended up winning the fight, he called out both Logan and Jake Paul in the post-fight interview, and KSI vs Logan Paul will be scheduled for August 25th, 2018. This was a really big deal because KSI is a highly respected content creator, and he was one of the first people to give Logan Paul a chance to prove he changed as a person. There was a lot of hype behind this KSI vs Logan Paul fight, and even though they pretended to hate each other to get more pay-per-view buys, it was pretty obvious they were friends. As most of you probably know, the fight ended up being a draw, which meant a rematch had to happen. Logan Paul didn't just use boxing as a way to reinvent himself though, and he started his own podcast called Impulsive. As I said earlier, the YouTube channel for this podcast has over 4 million subscribers, and all the podcasts get over 1 million views. This was a really big step for Logan Paul, because instead of uploading a 10 minute YouTube vlog every day yelling at a camera, he was having in-depth conversations with some really important people. Since Logan's podcasts are over an hour long, he had to be way more mature on camera and actually hold the conversation. He uploaded his first ever podcast on November 19th, 2018, and he's been uploading them consistently ever since. Logan Paul had a lot of difficult conversations about his life on the podcast, talking about his controversy in Japan, and overall, the podcast really helped Logan get back on track. Moving back over to Logan Paul's main YouTube channel though, he was still uploading vlogs all the time, but they were definitely more laid back compared to 2017, and more enjoyable to watch. His videos were bringing in about 7 million views on average, and a video he uploaded titled, Why 2018 Was the Most Important Year of My Life, got over 11 million views and thousands of positive comments. People were slowly coming around on Logan Paul, starting to view him in a more positive light, and it also helped that Jake Paul was still acting just as immature as it was a few years ago, 
so Logan looked even better when comparing the two. Moving forward into 2019, this would be another successful year for Logan. He ended up fighting KSI again on November 9th, and even though he didn't win this fight, he earned a lot of respect from people on social media for just getting in the ring. It was obviously a major success for both KSI and Logan Paul though, because they were able to make videos hyping up the fight. Logan Paul uploaded videos titled, My Final Message to KSI, which got over 6 million views, I Lost, which got over 9 million views, and Congrats KSI, which got over 5 million views. Logan Paul kept on uploading vlogs in 2019 and 2020, and they were getting over 10 million views on average, making him one of the most popular content creators in the world. Logan was still doing the podcast all the time in 2020, and since the pandemic had everyone even more addicted to their phones, all the episodes were getting over 1.5 million views. The main members of this podcast were Logan, Mike Malak, and George Janko, who are both friends of Logan. They would usually have a well-known guest on the podcast, but sometimes it would just be the three of them talking about whatever was going on in the world. Moving forward into 2021, Logan Paul kept on creating content, but he decided to have another boxing match on June 6th, this time being an exhibition fight against one of the greatest boxers of all time, that being Floyd Mayweather. Now obviously Floyd is much older now and he wasn't trying to knock out Logan, but we still gotta give Logan Paul a lot of credit for fighting Floyd Mayweather. There was a ton of hype built around this fight, but I personally didn't find it that interesting, and it was just Logan Paul going for a knockout trying to land a lucky punch, but Logan still earned a ton of respect nonetheless. This caps off the second rise of Logan Paul. He successfully rebuilt his entire career after the Japan incident, and he had a thriving YouTube channel and podcast. Things would still go well for Logan Paul in 2022, like him starting a drink company with KSI called Prime, but as time went on, he found himself in a lot of controversy once again. After the fight with Floyd Mayweather, Logan wasn't uploading on his main channel as consistently as he used to. He started posting a solid amount of Pokemon content, with videos such as, I lost $3.5 million on fake Pokemon cards, and I bought the world's most expensive Pokemon card, and both of these videos got over 5 million views. I think one of the main reasons Logan wasn't uploading as much is because he moved to Puerto Rico and didn't have all the content creators around him like he did in LA. He also had a ridiculous amount of money at this time, so it's not like he needed to be daily vlogging in order to make money. Despite the fact that Logan Paul wasn't uploading as much, whenever he did upload, these videos were still getting about 5 million views. Jumping further into 2022 though, a lot of people started hating on Logan Paul again because he was always disrespecting his friend George on his podcast, often insulting his religion. On December 13th, 2022, a new podcast came out and Logan Paul said that George needed a therapist because Jesus wasn't doing it for him and a bunch of other things making fun of George's religion. Take a listen. Jesus isn't doing it for you. And for, I, I for believe what do I you're, need a therapist for? I don't believe you're as emotionally mature as you could be. Then what do I need Jesus for? I mean, uh, what do I need a therapist for? To get you to level up. I just don't know if I can get behind. Like, that's silly to me. That seems silly to me. So I so I think it's I think it's a silly practice to engage in. And I think it's I think it deserves satire. Genuinely, like I know people that hate me, that treat me better about my faith than you, and you're my best friend. So, like, I get you're wrestling with it, and you like to tackle things head on. And I've told you before, if you want to talk about it, let's talk about it peacefully, or we don't even have to talk about it. After this podcast came out, all the comments were taking George's side, and Logan Paul started facing a lot of backlash on other social media platforms. This wouldn't be the only thing that caused the second downfall of Logan Paul, though, and on December 16th, just three days after the podcast came out, CoffeeZilla uploaded a video titled, Investigating Logan Paul's Biggest Scam, which got over 8 million views. In this video, CoffeeZilla exposed CryptoZoo, which was basically Logan Paul's crypto game that he promoted a lot on the podcast, and it ended up being a total scam, with people losing tens of thousands of dollars. This entire scandal combined with Logan Paul making fun of religion really destroyed his reputation on social media, which he had been trying to build back for so long. Due to all the hate Logan was getting, he decided to make a podcast talking about his actions. On January 4th, 2023, a new impulsive episode came out titled, Logan Paul Addresses Crypto Scam Allegations, apologizing to George for mocking faith, which almost got 2 million views. This apology wasn't well received though, and it was obvious he was just trying to blame other people and avoid taking responsibility. I used to have a little bit of respect for Logan Paul back in 2020 and 2021, but that's all gone now, and I'm not a fan of his. Logan Paul uploaded his most recent video on January 21st, 2023, titled, Why 2022 Was The Best Year Of My Life, which got over 1 million views. He ended up disabling the comments on this video though, knowing he would be getting a lot of hate. Just because Logan Paul lost a lot of his fans, doesn't mean he isn't still wildly successful, and Prime, the energy drink he started with KSI, is the official sports drink of the UFC. Even though a lot of people dislike Logan Paul right now, he isn't going to stop creating content and doing the podcast. All in all, Logan Paul had two separate rises and falls on social media, being the most popular vlogger in 2017, becoming the most hated person on the internet in 2018, rebuilding his positive image by 2020, but he just recently had another downfall after his crypto zoo scam got exposed, and he disrespected his friend George about his religious beliefs. Make sure to drop a comment down below if you are still a fan of Logan Paul or not, and I'll make sure to get back to you. I hope you enjoyed this video on the rise and fall of Logan Paul, and I'll see you all next time.